Hi guys, welcome to YouTube. So, after the installation of Kai Linux in your virtual box or in your system, you are getting the problem, which is blank screen or black screen. Okay, why you are getting this blank screen? The reason is you have done something wrong during the installation of Kai Linux. Okay, and uh, if you are using uh, Kai Linux in virtual box, maybe you have done more wrong things. Okay, so. So let's talk about this and let's solve the, all the problems. Okay, so let's start. Okay, guys, let's solve the blank screen problem. Why this happened? Because of the installation, we have done something wrong in installation. During installation, we have chosen something wrong. Okay, so during installation, we have chosen host name, domain name, etc., etc., etc. And after this, we are asked. To this option which is called install the grub boot loader on hard disk if you choose an enter device manually then you are wrong okay then Kalinux will not work we have to choose the second option which is slash depth slash SDA and after this we need to continue and then Kalinux will work properly if you choose an enter device manually your Kalinux will never work okay so choose the second option and click on continue and after this car linux will work perfectly okay so this is how you can solve the first problem okay now let's talk about the problem which is faced by uh, people who use car linux in virtual box okay Okay, guys, let's talk about the problems which are faced by the people who install Kalinux in the virtual boxes. Okay, first thing you need to do is to enable virtualization in your BIOS setting, system BIOS setting. Go to system BIOS setting and enable virtualization. If you don't know how to enable virtualization, link is in description. Watch the video and learn how. And second problem is this. They choose wrong settings. So go to setting okay and go to processor you can choose extra processors and you are seeing this option which is called extended features okay so Kali Linux requires some extra features so it is recommended to for Kali Linux if you are installing Kali Linux it is recommended to enable this option extended features should be enabled after this click on ok and save the settings and now you are ready to install Kali Linux if you still have any problem to install Kali Linux, check out the, my video how you can install the Kali Linux I have shown properly. Okay, link is in description. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any question, uh, write down in comments. Thank you so much.